Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I am back. So if this is the first time you're seeing me, hi, my name is Karin, I'm from Indonesia and I usually make videos about studying abroad in the UK, how to get scholarship, studying tips, writing tips, um, living abroad experience, as well as my personal experience in long distance relationships. So if you're interested to that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's get to the video. It's been a while since I recorded a video and not only I'm back on YouTube, I'm also back in Indonesia. If you have watched my previous videos for the past year, I lived in Sweden in 2020. I had been living in Sweden for around a year. Um, I was there with my husband, I was living there temporarily and I couldn't come back to Indonesia because of COVID, yada yada yada. You could always check my previous videos, I have a bunch of videos before this. And now, as you can see, this is my room in Indonesia. It's pretty small, but it's cozy. And um, you might see me in this background a lot um, in the future, but I kind of just want to say hi to you guys here. And um, in this video, I want to talk about um, some things that I miss from Sweden. So um, since I have been back in Indonesia for about a month, uh, I noticed that I miss some things. I don't miss other things too though. Uh, for example, like the cold. And this is gonna be like a sit down chit chat videos. Um, uh, yeah, so. The first thing that I miss from Sweden is um, obviously my husband. <laughs> oh, it's kind of sad, but yeah, I, I miss him terribly. Um, he's still in Sweden and I'm here and um, we're not going to talk about it here about what's happening and how it is with our long distance marriage as of now. But um, yeah, it is what it is. I miss him terribly. Um, but yeah, it's not really about Sweden, but it's about him. Uh, but uh, the second thing is that the air quality. So. Um, I mean, the air quality in Sweden is just much, much better because they have less population and less uh, cars. In here, I live in Jakarta, the capital city of Indonesia. Jakarta alone has 10 million people by day, I think. Um, and there are so many cars, the congestion everywhere. So, you know, pollution, it's just not the best for you. And I mean, I'm not really complaining about it because obviously I'm so used to the pollution uh, when I'm out and about, even with the mask since, you know, now it's COVID. So if you go outside, you have to wear a mask. I can still, you know, breathe in the pollution kind of because it's very, it's just, it's very different. I mean, in Sweden, the air is very crisp and very refreshing. So that's one thing that I definitely miss from Sweden. Um, and then uh, the next thing is a pedestrian walk or the, you know, the pavements. Um, Jakarta is notorious for not being friendly to pedestrians. Uh, I'm probably going to insert some pictures here and there. Um, it's not a place for you to walk everywhere. Well, first, it's also because it's really hot, like the daily temperatures probably it's around, I mean, 29 to 33, 34. Um, during the rainy season, sometimes we get to like maybe 27, 28, but it's, yeah, it's around 30-ish and it's humid. So walking around is sort of not too pleasant because, you know, it's hot you're sweaty all the time so that's one um, and then the second thing is that we don't really have enough infrastructure for pedestrians so i really miss the wide big pavements pedestrian walk in sweden um because uh i mean it's nice to walk outside um you know you 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 know that's the easiest exercise and i have grown um liking uh, walking is that even a word I have grown to like walking <laughs> maybe that's more 
correct um but yeah if i have to walk outside if i want to walk or take a walk um i have to you know maneuver over things um you can see it here i will put some pictures so that's that and um the next thing that i miss about sweden is the recycling system oh my god and i i like um sorting my trash uh you know like stuff to recycle stuff to throw away stuff to um keep so that you you should go to like the bigger recycling place because in sweden like you cannot just throw away electronics and stuff like that you cannot just throw away like furniture or you know chairs um I, you know, I, I like that, it's weird, but like I said, I have a little bit of an OCD, so I enjoy sorting things out and, you know, putting them where they're supposed to be. In here, we don't have an integrated recycling system, which is a shame, uh, obviously, it's not good for the planet, and I feel bad every time I have to just mix my trash. Uh, I've been looking for uh, an organization who can sort um, my trash uh, and it's a private one. I have to pay them. Uh, I might do that um, sometime soon, um, but yeah, definitely I miss that. Seriously, I really, really miss that. I wish we can apply and do it here in Indonesia. And the next thing is... Um, well, this one is a little bit of a love and hate situation, I think. I miss this about Sweden, but at the same time, when I'm in Sweden, I don't really like this. And it's the um, silence. <laughs> um, I don't know how to say this, but it's, you know, it's the quietness of the area of the, you know, the city, the place. I mean, I'm not saying that it's quiet everywhere i'm just saying generally compared to jakarta especially um places that i've been to in sweden where i live i've lived in trollhättan and malma two cities in sweden um it's much more quiet there both in the residency areas and even in the you know central obviously in the central areas there in Sweden, it's more crowded, you know, it's more loud, but compared to here, it's, um, it's nothing. <laughs> and here, since we have so many people in one city, um, it's always loud. Uh, it's, you know, it's so lively and I like that, but at the same time, because it's now COVID and I'm so used to the quietness of my surrounding in Sweden, I got I got surprised quite a lot if you know someone's approaching me or I get a little bit of um like what are you doing? Are you coming close to me? You know what I mean? Because in Sweden there were barely people. I mean in comparison to Jakarta obviously there are people there but you know so I kind of miss that. I wish there are less people in Jakarta but it's silly of me to think like that i would like to live in a place where it's kind of like in the middle it's not too crowded it's not too quiet so um anyway but yeah that's that um this is my first video and um i kind of want to transition from um my videos about sweden because obviously it's not really relevant for me to do that anymore now um and uh you will be seeing more of me hopefully and if you're curious about my life in sweden back then just click on my previous videos i'm so close into getting um this channel monetized so i'm very very excited for that and i hope uh, you can support me by watching um, my videos i make quite a lot of videos and i hope they're either uh, useful um helpful entertaining um at least this is the end of this video. <laughs> um, it's been a while since I talk in front of the camera. Uh, feels a bit weird, but um, yeah, 
I will see you guys soon, hopefully next time. And tell me in the comments down below what videos you want me to make. Uh, I am planning to make more videos about studying abroad, how to get into LSE, how my experience uh, was living in the UK when I was studying in the UK. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.